Next up on the channel, we've got the latest Dreadnought. We've got Dreadnought, Naugahyde, Pork Belly, and Yabo. All the way I got it figured. The way I got it figured. What's up, figure fans? Where I got it figured back with another G.I. Joe Classified Series review. This time we're looking at number 125 in the series. Naugahyde, Pork Belly, and Yabo. Uh, this was a deluxe figure, you know, an animal pet pack. Essentially a $44.99 pack. I picked it up on Hasbro Pulse and getting around to the review so we're going to dig into it Naugahyde came out originally in 1989 G.I. Joe uh, Real American Hero along with the likes of Arctic Stalker Snake Eyes version 3 Rock and Roll version 2 uh, that whole crew was pretty pretty decent lineup there was a couple of hands in there but um he was one of the standouts one of the later dreadnoughts after road pig even though we're getting him first and road pig second and he did come with like a little warthog didn't come with a monkey but now he's got a monkey and we're going to get into it so we got the new style universal packaging for deluxe figures at least I believe it's it's universal, even for these. Um, I haven't gotten a Marvel Legends in this size box yet, but I think I think I saw Luke Cage and Iron Fist, and they were in a, roughly the same size box. We'll we'll definitely make a, a point of comparison for that at some point. But for now, this is Nargahide, and in his box. And it's a, you know, decent enough box. Got your 125 on top. Cobra embossed, lightly embossed. On the side, you got your mean looking Naugahyde poster kind of artwork. And he kind of reminds me of Captain Boomerang from the Suicide Squad. <laughs> the artwork. And you've got your file card symbols. And you've got your QR code that goes absolutely nowhere. On the back, you got some nice artwork of Naugahyde. And I honestly think this is like the ideal load out kind of for him um, he does come with a sniper rifle and he came with one back in 89 um, but this I don't know this sort of speaks to me for some reason I kind of like the idea of him using a bow and arrow got some nice inserts here got a nice got a, co uh, a snake logo on there I guess to show his affiliation to Cobra You've got your warthog with a nose ring. And it looks like he's got some dog tags. I don't know if they're his or if he took them from, you know, a Joe or something. I don't know. So for his file card symbols, he's got a two mercenary, three long wing, bleh, two mercenary, three long range weapons, one black market deals, and two animal handling. And, you know, so I guess he's reasonably competent. Not necessarily top echelon. So there you go. We're going to get Naugahyde out and see what we can see. Okay. Here is Naugahyde out of the package with all of his accessories, including Yabo and Pork Belly. And 
like many figures, most of what we get here are retreads of things from other figures. So most of his accessories we've seen before, so I can go through them quickly. Just gonna move Yabo out of the way here real quick. So we've got this arrow holding backpack that also holds the bow. We got this on Shadow Tracker. Along with an arrow. And the bow, which is nicely, uh, you know, painted and everything. And that comes off. Then we've got this sniper rifle. And case for the sniper rifle that came with low light. And I guess also not smart as Marauder with low light. And we've got two knives. And I'm fairly certain we've seen these knives before, but I you know, knives are a little bit harder for me to remember. I don't really care too much about them. They just go in the sheaves mostly. But we got two knives. And they do look good. They're nicely painted and everything. Then, of course, you've got his Outback type hat. We can sort of stick on his head. And then he still has his signature knife that the uh, kind of a uh, machete that the 1989 figure actually came with. So this is a uh, this is sort of a nod definitely to that. So that's a new accessory, and the hat's a new accessory. Then we've got Yabo. He's some kind of monkey. He has an eye patch, looks like. You know, he's got fangs. He's not not a, not a very nice guy, evidently. And he doesn't have any articulation whatsoever, but he is nicely painted. And you got Pork Belly, who is obviously a warthog, and he is carrying on the fine tradition of Hasbro animals. And he's got quite a bit of articulation. Who knows how useful it all really is, but he definitely has a lot of articulation. Got his abdomen here, tail moves, turn his head like that, and his mouth opens. Ooh, yeah. his mouth really opens, his mouth pops off. You want to be careful with that. Don't open it too far. But it's nice enough. <laughs> One of his horns is broken. Pretty cool. And as for Noghide himself, he looks like an updated version of the 1989 classic figure. And I like what they did with him. But one thing I can say is he's on that G.I. Joe big body. So if this is all pretty much the same stuff as Roadblock. As you can see, he's got pins. Pins here. So he's basically 
you know, roadblock, gung-ho, uh, with extra stuff thrown on them. And I don't like the feet on that mold. Not that they look bad, but oftentimes you have to struggle to get the figure to stand up because the feet are small for the for the body. It's got a nice belt, it's got those dog tags we saw, the teeth, anarchy tattoo, pretty cool. And he's got a sheath on the back for one of his knives. So what we're gonna do now is get Naga Hyde geared up and be right back. Oh, well, before we do that, I'm gonna show his tattoo in real life, not just in a picture. It's pretty cool. And I guess he's got like a slight comb over or either that or something scratched him on the head. I think something scratched him on the head. He's a poacher. His original job was Dreadnought Poacher, whatever that means. But he is part of the gang. So let's get him geared up. I'll be right back. Okay, so we've got Naugahyde geared up. At least for how I'm going to do it anyway. Um, probably a little bit less emphasis on the sniper rifle. Not that there's anything wrong with it. More emphasis on the bow and the uh, signature sword kind of deal he's got and you know he looked great he's 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 naugahyde i really feel like I mean, you know when i look at this guy he looks like the guy from suicide squad that played captain boomerang that's the you know i just keep seeing that guy when i look at him um, but whatever, it's cool enough. A little homage, so to speak. And he does, he does look good. I wonder if you can stick the, uh, the arrows in the sniper case. convincingly sort of like that and then and then plug the sniper case in like that so he can technically kind of carry everything which is always good in G.I. Joe Classified series. And then you got your sort of shattered glass. <laughs> You've got your sort of shattered glass Timon and Pumbaa, in a sense, with Yalo and pork, pork belly. And yeah, they look good. I like I like it. I'm very happy with it. Um, Narga is kind of a outcast dreadnought in my opinion. He's not really well liked by the other dreadnoughts or anything. Not that they like anybody. Um, and he's on that big body, so that's gonna give him a little bit of a. Uh, he's gonna stand apart a little bit from the rest of the dreadnoughts. He's a bigger guy. I guess gonna be the second biggest guy because. As you all know by now, Road Pig is enormous. So, can't wait to see them all together. I'm going to uh, leave this set sort of separate. I'm not going to do a comparison in this video, but you'll be sure to see Naga Hide again. So, that'll be fine. I got a little bit of a sniffle here. I'm going to move on, though, to final thoughts. Final thoughts on G.I. Joe Classified Series number 125, Naugahyde, Port, Pork Belly, and Yabo. I mean, it's a pretty decent set. I do like it. There's a lot of reuse here. But again, 
reuse can't be the main calculus in a line that's going to just constantly you reuse stuff otherwise nothing would be good everything would be like oh man they cheaped out on this yada yada the question is how well did they do it right so even though he's on that big body the gi joe large body i'm not a fan of that body but they did enough here to make it you know like i don't know it's not it's not just gung-ho and roadblock i know it's the same body but the things around it are unique enough to make him distinct he does look like the guy from captain uh captain boomerang from the suicide squad so you know i don't know if that's good or bad i just that's all i see when i see him the animals are you are, are quality yabo has no articulation but kind of what do you expect and and that's that's basically you know what you get what you came for Overall, I'm going to give Naga Hide, Pork Belly, and Yabo an 8 out of 10. Pretty decent. Not unhappy. I do like the other Dreadnoughts better. But, I I mean, I, I just like the other Dreadnoughts better. The original Dreadnoughts. Um, I did have Naga Hide as a kid and everything like that. But he came at a later time. And the original three Dreadnoughts are the original three Dreadnoughts. So I think eight is good for them. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you, everybody, for watching, keeping, uh, keeping up with the Classified Series reviews and everything like that. There's definitely more coming. As I stated earlier, you will see Naga Hide again. Uh, Road Pig will be here before you know it. Xandar will be here before you know it. So those will be both figures that are on the list to get if you're new to the channel uh, please like and subscribe working our way up to 500 and then from there a thousand the goal is to be at a thousand by the end of 2024 i know we can do it it's been a little slow going i've got a couple of things that i'm working on to um you know to help out in that regard but the main thing I'm trying to do is give you quality, you know, quality content, be be uh, thorough with the figures and everything like that. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Till then, everybody stay safe. Peace. The way I got it figured.